And let's start with the National Institute of Health. Its research and funding are key reasons why the hum human genetic code was deciphered, hepatitis C was discovered, the AIDS virus was isolated, and the first drug to treat it was discovered, and it's where the basic research that helped lead to the COVID vaccines was done. It is by far the world's largest public funder of biomedical research, and in particular, the largest funder of cancer research. The NIH has been called the crown jewel of American science, which, if anything, is understating it, because it's clearly better than a crown jewel. <laughs> Those things don't really do much, aside from bedazzle a puffy hat that we occasionally balance <laughs> on top of a collection of recessive genes. <laughs> the NIH, however, is really important, but it's now in trouble. Because within weeks of Trump taking office, it stopped considering new grant applications entirely, which instantly stalled about 16,000 of them. It then announced hundreds of existing grants would be terminated, many seemingly for including terms like minorities, transgender, AIDS and vaccine hesitancy. In fact, they've reportedly cut about $750 million in HIV-targeted grants alone. 